Hey my sassies, it's another beautiful weekend at Projections of Sassiness, where projects and sassiness go hand in hand. First, I want to thank all of my new subscribers. Thank you for the views, the comments, and keep on watching. And for my day ones, y'all the realest. I appreciate and love y'all. We're going to jump into this video. This weekend's video is a DIY home decor. I guess you would call this a boho chic, shabby chic fixture. It's not a light fixture, but that would be cute too. Let's go ahead and sassify this. Here's the supplies. So for this project I used three needlepoint rings, so those wooden rings that you saw, I used a 12 inch, a 10 inch, and a 7 inch. So this is going to be a three tier hanging fixture. The 12 inch is this first one here, this is the first tier, and it used about 25 tassels. tier and the third tier <laughs> but what I'm doing is I'm just taking that tie off on the top of the tassel I'm hot gluing it to the wooden ring and then looping it around so that yarn's looping around like this and then just cutting off any excess yarn that I have all right we're down to the final tier y'all so of course I made this much faster, you guys didn't want to sit through this whole thing, but it was a lot of tassel making, y'all. The 12 inch was 25 tassels, the 10 inch was 19, and then the 7 inch was about 15 or 16, I lost count. But time to get the sassification on, y'all. <laughs> These wooden beads take it up a notch, you know, give it a little bit more chicness. <laughs> what do you guys think? For all my fellow DIYers who love to create, all the information will be down in the description area. And for one person, I'm going to go ahead and give this away. 
This is going to be to the first person that leaves a comment telling me what my first video was and what brand I was showing in that video. Also, get a friend that you know loves that loves all things sassy or a DIYer to subscribe and then they can comment who sent them. Let's get back to this video. So now I'm using some chain. I ordered chain from Amazon and I thought this was going to be a much bigger chain but it is this tiny little chain but we're going to make it do what it do. So I'm going to chain off on mm, four different areas on the first tier. I'm going to do that on the second and the third as well. And this is just going to create that hanging part that I An easier way to do this would just to purchase one of those fruit baskets. So you know like the chain and a fruit basket three tier and then just take the basket part off and you kind of have the structure to make the same thing. But you know me, I always gotta sassify stuff. I need some gold hardware. I guess I could have spray painted the chain or the fruit basket gold as well. <laughs> Here I'm just connecting all the chains together to make one and I'm using just some wire to connect those and then I'm going to take this silver keychain ring and then just attach that to the wire and the chain. So now I'm just assembling the second ring or tier, same exact way. There's going to be four chains on that as well. Now I'm just making sure that the beads are showing and they are in the place that I want them to be. And here's the third tier and our final look y'all. What do you think? Let me see what you think in the comments. I want to see them comments lit up. I don't know, do you guys like shabby chic or boho chic? I do like it. I don't de I don't decorate with it. You know, our home is not shabby chic at all, but I do like to recreate things that I see that are shabby chic. So, again, what do you guys think? I hope you like this video. Like, comment and subscribe. It was a lot of fun. Here's the inside I'm showing to you. can't leave without giving you some pictures i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget about the giveaway one comment and one subscriber and i'll send this to you you guys have a great weekend stay blessed stay safe and remember stay sassy